little message to Tony, Khan, uh, and the rest of the Khan family. We're still buzzing from the end of last season from Wembley. It was one of the best days of my life. Um, you just have to go on Twitter to see the amount of love that's coming from the club. A lot of people who were, you know, fallen out of love even before you guys took over are coming back and really feeling that passion again. And this summer, it's like it's, it's been so promising. The amount of money you've spent, but also how wisely you've spent getting players that fit the positions that we need and the style of football we play. And I think you've shown that you've really evolved your thinking, even from last summer when some of the players I didn't I didn't get as excited about. Even if they weren't as big names, they're big names, but also they fit into what we want to do and, and the blueprint that is coming for the Fulham identity. And you've given Slav the, the backing, you've given him the faith, and you're really starting to get that feeling for what he's trying to build. So keep doing it. The next two or three years could be the best of Fulham's uh, history, in my opinion. And, and just keep building and keep pushing. Uh, and, and happy times are coming, I feel it. Come on, you whites. Well, I'm going to start some controversy here. We're going for Danny Welbeck. Why? Offer something different. I think he's pretty surplus at Arsenal, though under a new management. He might have different ideas, and I don't think there's a place for him, possibly, in that team. I think, well, I reckon he could do very well for Fulham here, in the right conditions. Behind Mitrovic, you know, Mitrovic would be the number one uh, striker, but as a second option, you know, if we're running out of options, need to change the game a bit, I think it'd be a good option to have up front. One player I'd like to sign, Moussa Dembele the first, the man who runs rings around your team. Obviously, he's currently a Tottenham player, but previously at Fulham, you know, everybody knows, everybody sees him as a bit of a cult hero down here because of the fact that he was so good at holding up the ball, you know, he's seen as one of the better Premier League players, and obviously we've got strength in midfield, but to bring a player of his ability would not only continue the positive vibe, but would bring a different dimension to the freedom to um, Tom Kearney to do his passing game and Siri and Johansson and Donald and realistically when it comes to price and obviously you know how expensive some players have become nowadays I'm looking for the original Moose of Dembele at a price of anywhere between 6 to 12 million if we can make a bit of a profit on him in the sense of bringing him back considering we sold him for 15 that would be a good investment, good signing. Because I think that target is key to our squad last year, and we, we've literally signed everyone we wanted. A good midfield, Mitrovic of course. Christy season. We just need to get the squad back together from last year, and I think target would be pivotal for us to stay up and kick on. Okay, if he became available, uh, and if we were able to bring him in, I would pick Luke Shaw. Uh, born and raised in Kingston upon Thames, he's a fan of uh, this lot over here, Chelsea. Uh, got the big money to go to Manchester, and it just hasn't worked out for him. I mean, he was in a really good position uh, before he had that horror injury against P PSV Eindhoven. Um, I think he's one of the best up-and-coming left backs in Europe. Uh, he's had a big setback in his career. I love the way he drives up the left. Uh, I think he can make those overlapping runs. So if you're looking at a left wing where you've got Luke Shaw and Sessegnon in terms of pace, skill, also being able to do a job defensively, that is, that is very, very tricky to, to be able to play against. And I think it would head us towards this lot over here, the Chelsea Blues. So I think getting Luke Shaw, if he became available, bringing him back to South West London and fitting him into a team, where he'd be welcomed, he'd be loved, and uh, he'd be trusted, unlike Mourinho's doing to, to him at Man United, I think he could blossom, and I think he'd be perfect for the team. A real upgrade on other left backs. And Sessegnon already says that he idolized Luke Shaw as a kid, so, I mean, they're only five years difference, but I think it would just be a really match made in heaven. Okay, who would I like? Who would I like? i tell you what I'd like. Jerry Mina. Colombian fullback, six, he's six foot five. He was the one that scored the goal against England in the last minute. He's at Barcelona at the moment. And I think Wolves and Everton are after him. I think he'd be a good asset to keep our defence really solid and tight.